imagine this. You're at a big store, and it's the close of business, and they lock you inside the store, <laughs> and you are left there. That's exactly what happened on Wednesday at the Bay, right at Young and Bloor. And uh, this woman was stuck in there. What happened, Winston? Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, the, the story went viral on social media. She took to Twitter to uh, really sound off. So Emily Keeler is the woman's name. Um, and she tweeted, oh, where did that tweet go? I'm trapped inside the bay. What do I do? And um, a lot of people replied, you know, watch out for the mannequins. They come live. So a real conversation <laughs> took that's off nice. on Twitter. And uh, she started tweeting a bunch of photos. Uh, let's see if we can pull up some of those. Are you actually in the betting section? You are living my dream. Call the police, non-emergency, and then the phone number yeah. is there. Um, a few other tweets here. You know, um, find Muffy the Mouse and see if she really talks in rhyme. <laughs> Um, another one here, but seriously, how do I get out of here? And she tweeted a picture. I've always wondered what the store looks like when it's closed. Yeah. Um, and that's what it looks yeah, like. There you go. It's very peaceful. So what finally happened? So what finally happened, um, there's another photo. She didn't want to set the alarms off. What finally happened was, um, you know, we stand by you in time of need. And then this also happened. Uh, oh, people so created they did a bit of a free campaign. Free Emily. Free Emily. Okay. And then this is what happened. Uh, 45 minutes later. The manager came by, these nice managers freed me, and there she is walking out of the store. <laughs> oh, that's it. All's well that ends well. And exactly. once again, Twitter to the rescue. Twitter to the rescue. Yeah, now, it's just funny. Um, 3D printers are something I think is absolutely the most amazing thing in the world, and they're about to come to our own homes for, I think, a rather reasonable price. That's exactly right. We saw this back at CES, uh, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las yeah. Vegas, back in January, and uh, these were just prototypes. Now, these, uh, this is one of the first of a few uh, printers that just came out. The MakerBot Replicator Mini is the yeah. um, device, and it retails at just under $1,400. Can we zoom in to, to show this a, little, a little bit? Can zoom. you? Let's see if I can make this happen. No, I can't. Um, so yeah, take a, take a look in here. So these are some of the things that can actually replicate, and some of them can have moving parts with it. Yeah. So if you need something for the house, maybe a door, even something as simple as I want a certain shaped doorstop. You know, you, you, and there are developments too where these printers can print things, um, you know, for surgical reasons too. Yeah. So they're not just using these to print, um, you know, household items. It could be for surgical reasons. Surgical reasons. Uh, they also have printers that now print food. So uh, you know, hmm. one day you can print your own pizza. Star Trek. Replicator. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Winston. And uh, let's go upstairs. Here's Russ Holden.